Okay, just a quick video here. This is the newest version of the 955. So if you buy one of these new, you should start to see this version pretty much everywhere going forward. They're, they're not making the older style with the full adjustability on the circuit board anymore. That version is is discontinued, I guess, is the easiest way to say it. So if you get one of these and you open the box and you don't see this book and the box doesn't look like this, then you probably got the older style. So just keep that in mind. And I would ask anyone that you purchase one of these from you which style it is. Just ask them, does it have the orange color on the display? Does it have the vented slots up here on the cover? If it doesn't, then it's the older style. And now some of you guys might still want the older style, and they might start to get harder to find just due to the fact that they're out of production now. So this is the new style. I did uh, briefly check out the radio. I'm really impressed with it. And I'm not going to make this a really long video and go into all the, the technical stuff and the, the whole uh, spew of the test equipment. Um, if somebody wants to buy one, I'd be more than happy to do a video and show them, you know, how their radio is performing before I ship it out to them. Or, honestly, most of you guys, some of the guys that don't really care about the whole test equipment view and all that stuff, I mean, you could buy one of these direct, I could have it shipped to you right from the distributor. And I could tell you what you need to do to make it go below this frequency. So it's really pretty easy. So right now out of the box, this has nothing done. You can see it's basically just a 10 meter radio. And that's what it's designed to be. So um, don't expect to get one of these new out of the box and be able to talk on the CV band. It's just it's not going to happen. Uh, you can do it, but you have to modify the radio. So... And it's not anything that the average person couldn't do themselves. I'll just leave it at that. So the main thing that really impresses me with this new board and these radios, and there's multiple radios that have this new board, is the fact that um, it's on frequency right out of the box. I mean, to, to find a radio like that, in this class of radio is really hard you really can't find anything that does not drift slightly and these just frankly don't drift so in my opinion it, it's much better than anything on the market that doesn't have this new board and when i say the new board there's multiple radios that have the new board um the first one that came out is one that i was selling and i will sell again it is this little radio over here with the green DX5000 Plus, um, that radio, that's actually an empty box. I actually don't have one of those anymore. I actually even sold my personal one, and the one customer that bought it didn't want the box. He, he just wanted simply the radio. So because it was shipping out of country, shipping costs are high. So he said, can you just box up the radio in the mic? And that's all I need. So that's just a box that I kept. So, but that has the same board in essence. This radio has, I think, the CRT 6900. I can't remember the exact model number because I haven't seen one of those here. I think that also has the similar board. Now, it may not have all the features. This radio has more features, I think, than the DX5000+. Plus. Each one will have certain characteristics that make them unique of each other, let alone they all look different in a lot of ways but um, going forward I think that the new board in these radios is by far a big upgrade over what we've seen previously with especially sideband 10 meter radio so uh, let's get into the frequency of the radio so you can see here we're transmitting if we look up here on our frequency counter I mean it's you really don't get any better than that and I mean, I could stay on the key. The timeout timer would probably turn on on this thing, but let's turn it out to 10 seconds. takes about 10 seconds for it to register our frequency, but this would be the most accurate view on this frequency counter. So you can see. I mean, is that not good or what? 
And then if you want to get another baseline here, if you look here at the HF transceiver, you can see where the carrier is. So right there, that's that's awesome. That you really don't get any better than that. And maybe I worry too much about that being that I'm more on the technical side of things with the test equipment and stuff like that. But I just don't like to see a radio when I get one and it's way off frequency and I got to sit there and, you know, do the old school way and take one of these small tuning tips and you know try to align it. it it just really gets redundant to me it's nice that many the manufacturer that designed this board finally realized that you can make it a better way and you don't have to do that kind of stuff and there, there really is no way inside to do that anyways the any adjustment that would be made would be through a service menu through the front of the radio so so i think our hf rigs already on sideband so let's just go to sideband which I just put this radio on sideband. So we got our mic gain all the way up, our F powers all the way up. Uh, the echo is on slightly just to show you that it works. The m function menu here, I will show one thing. And to go through it, I'll just let you guys see some stuff. You guys that already own these might see some different options that you don't have on your original version of this radio. Mic type, EL is electret, dynamic is standard. So we'll leave it in EL because that's what the KPO mic NM532 is. So we have our noise reduction. Uh, the radio is really quiet because I don't have an antenna on it. Let me go to FM. If I go to FM here. So it has the noise reduction like the DX5000 Plus. Same principle, you have to continually hit the function to cycle through. Noise reduction on, off. Easiest way to put it, it makes a huge difference. So. Uh, let's go back to sideband. A little piece of dust or something there. Get that off there. So, turn our mic up slightly. Lower sideband. We'll listen on the HF rig here. Apologize already if it squeals. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten check 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 so again there is no rit you guys can see that is on the screen but it's zero 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 so we're not listening to any uh frequency offset on this radio it's set right to 2800 28 megahertz so let's turn the echo off echo is now off One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if that doesn't impress you already, if you're a sideband guy, I, I really don't know what else I can show that would. But it, it does impress me. Upper sideband. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check, check. And again, we are not in any. Um, menu function that would allow the clarifier to do anything with your transmit it is in receive only so you can see tx frequency t or tx is on the screen but clarifier is in receive only so this is the radio performing how it should right out of the box it's right on frequency there's no question about it so I pretty much expected that with the board that's in this radio. So here's your, here's your AM, one, two, three, four, five, six, check, 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 hello. Here's the echo on a little bit again for AM. Let's see, echo on. One, two, one, two, three, four, check, 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 one, two. Okay, so that's that. That, that really impresses me with this radio. Um, I guess you guys probably want to see the power output, so let's do that. AM. So let me turn this around. What do we have here? That's too low. Well, I'll show it all the way down. 
So all the way down. The radio is about two and a half watts. Hello, hello, hello. Check, check. The peak side, one, two, three, four. It's a hundred watt scale on the peak. So you can see it's, it's bouncing around a little bit, but it, it still has tons of uh, forward modulation. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say, I'm not going to say the radio is doing 60 watts peak with it all the way down. It's probably, if I put the 50 in there, it's probably a little bit less than that. A little bit of inaccuracy here with the 100, but just for the simple fact that try to make the video quick, um, it's anywhere from 40 to 60. Let's just say that. So that's with the power all the way down, all the way up, all the way up now. Need to put something else in here for that. Okay, 25. All the way up, we're looking at about 12.5 watts all the way up. And still over here, we got the 100. So all the way up, we're doing about 70 watts. So one, two, three, four, five, check, check, check. All day, about 70 watts on this radio. Let's go to sideband, or let's show you guys FM. FM is about 50. Sideband, your sideband all the way up, one, two, three, four, so it's the same, about 70 watts or so. And then if you turn it all the way down, it gets really low on this radio. So all the way down, just one second. Okay, the power's all the way down on sideband. So it, I tested it a little bit earlier off camera. It's less than 10, it's just a little more than five with it all the way down, so you can really lower it. So. I mean, it, it does peg the five, but you know, in between my words and stuff, you can see it's not it's not cranking it way over in the corner. So I can't find my ten right now. I think it's off to the left, out of view. So just for the sake of not keeping the video longer than it needs to be, it's between five and ten watts all the way down. So it's fully adjustable there. And yeah, I I'm impressed with the radio. I'm not going to get into a, a lot more about it right now because I just don't have time. There's a lot to cover. And I'm sure there'll be other guys that make other more informative videos than what I'm doing for you guys right now. But I just want to give you guys a kind of a look of the radio here. It does come with the programming cable out of the box. There is a software you can download on the Striker website. And you can play with the programming software and uh, it does give you some adjustable transmit and receiver bandwidth i kind of showed that a little bit in the menu and the noise reduction feature there's a noise gate there's just a lot more features on this newer version of this radio so if you have one of these the older one and you like it and you ever wanted to decide to try a new one i think you would probably like the new one better just because it has more features if you already like how the radio looks and you like how the original one works and you just were curious about this one, I think that you would be more than happy with this one also with the new features they're offering. It really makes it a more all around uh, great radio. So, and I am a striker, authorized striker dealer. Um, as far as, you know, dealing with striker, they're a great company to deal with. They have a great customer service warranty. These come with a three year warranty and uh, there's really nothing uh, in my opinion that you could do probably to avoid the warranty since there's not a lot of um, there's nothing you can adjust on the board the only thing i think you could do is if you did get a hold of the information for the internal service menu and you started messing with stuff in there and you really messed up the radio then they may uh not be very happy with that and i don't know what their terms are on a new radio like this you'd have to contact them directly as far as the warranty part would go but I would think for the most a average users um, you're never gonna mess with that kind of stuff I don't see any reason to go in there and do anything personally I do have the information uh, I'm not gonna release it publicly it's not something that I think they want released because I did see um, some 
prototype versions of this radio that they sent out. Some of you guys have probably already seen the YouTube videos of those. And no one really talked about that. No one really showed what you do to convert the radio. So I'm just going to kind of leave it at that, that. You know, I don't think they want that information put out to the public. Now, if someone does it on their own, then that's up to them. But I'm just going to leave it as how I've seen the radio was slightly and slowly introduced to the radio community on YouTube as they didn't really show that or talk about it. The one YouTube video that I saw, he unboxed one new he said it was a new one, and when he unboxed it, it was already on 27 megahertz. Well, that's not the case for anything new coming out of the distributors or anything like that. It, it does not get sold like that. So if you buy one of these new and you're expecting that, you're going to be disappointed because it, it doesn't do that out of the box. So there's, there is the possibility to do it. It's not hard to do. And if someone was wanting to buy one of these or something, it's it's a possibility. We'll just leave it at that. It, it can be done. Just like the original one, it's just in an entirely different way to do it on this radio than the old board. But it is definitely a possibility. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I like the radio. I'm really happy with it. And um, I think that the new board is something that uh, it can only get better going forward if this, if this is what we have now in 2022 with multiple radios i'm sure there's going to be more uh, different radios that come out that have this uh, this master pcb board and every model will have certain characteristics like i said to make them different but i think this is the best thing that we got going so far for for our radio community i think it's great so uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. And I'm sure there will probably be more videos I'll do later of this radio, maybe showing different things. But I just wanted to give you guys a brief uh, look and kind of what to expect with this radio. So we'll catch you on the next one, 7-3.